Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to use check mark in Mezze, where I show you how to use these various symbols like check mark, check box and others to be able to use, uh, answer a yes or no questions. Okay. Now, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a professional payroll in Microsoft Excel. Why most organizations turn their heads towards software like Tally, ADP, or ERP for payroll, or they give contracts to some outsourcing companies to provide them with payroll services without any fuse. There are several reasons for this approach. However, the core of those is that it is very time consuming to do all the manual work for payroll and have it set. Apart from that, it consumes manpower engage as well with all the ease it makes for them to be considered some businesses prefer to do payroll work on their home and manage it accordingly. Okay? It is time it is time, cost, and manpower consuming tax. It gives you total control over your employee payroll and each penny you spend on them simultaneously. So, do payroll manually. You need some something definitely a tool that is powerful, versatile, and it's easy to handle at the same time. With all these requirements, you can easily get the tool. Yes, you might get it right. That is Microsoft Excel. The range of simple formula and its simple layout make Excel stand out for those who do payroll manually for their employee. This video tutorial will show you how to create a payroll manually from scratch. Okay, payroll in Excel is very simple and easy. Now let's understand how to create payroll in Excel with this table I have on my screen here. In this table, as you can see, the you can see the total hours work and the total overtime hours okay are considered on a monthly basis because we pay the employee on monthly basis right okay therefore the 190 means the total hours work during the month the same is uh, is the case with the total overtime okay total overtime also the pay per hour here and the overtime are uh, in dollars okay now therefore we will we formulate gross pay now gross pay is the sum of the product of pay per hour the total hours work and the overtime per hour and the, the total overtime per hour right right okay now the so we have to for, we will not formulate the formula to use right there now okay so we are going to use the example number, which is equal to okay the pay per hour okay so let me put bracket first okay the pay per hour then we then close let me multiply by the e3 the total hours work okay then Then close the bracket. Then close the hours uh, overtime hour. Okay. Open the bracket. Then multiply by the total overtime hours. Okay, which is here. So you close the bracket. So now it is simple for now. So just it on your enter key. You can see very simple. Okay, very simple. So now you can see the formula as it is generated from a Z. Okay, so you can now you can drag the same formula from the say H3 right here down towards say H14. You can see so these are the gross pay for each and every employee. Mm -hmm. These are the gross pay for each and every employee. Okay, now let's now consider let's now consider the income tax okay let's consider the income tax right here okay the to calculate the income tax you need to check how much percentage of tax your employee pays on the gross pay income tax is always calculated on gross pay 
in this case we will consider 20 percent of income tax on all the gross pay therefore the income tax formula becomes become 20 percent which is equal to 0 0.5 Point two, okay. Okay. Then multiply by what the gross pay. Okay. Now it or not enter button, so we can see. So that is the income pay, income income tax to be paid by this employee on the monthly basis. Now, so what you need to do right now is is I just drag from the so I three down to what say i14 okay now we can, we can use auto sum to sum the total income tax to be paid for all the employees okay now also you must mention other other uh, deduction okay for a particular employee if any this deduct this deductible may contain the premium of premium of health or life insurance or professional taxes okay or if any loan is taken from an organization it so and so on how this amount value under the column j which are provided some amount which an employee has taken as a loan or as it was part of what benefit they enjoy okay now if there is if there is no deductible for any particular employer you can set this value under the column J for that particular uh, for that employee to be zero. So all these value have been set by me. Now, now finally we can come towards what the net pay. The net pay is is the amount that gets credited into your employee bank account after all the deductions. Okay, after all the deduction from gross pay. Now, therefore, in this case, we need we we deduct or that is subtract income tax from column high and other deductible deductible in the column a which can be form can be formulated in the say in the say k3 right here which is what so i'm going to use this formula which is what equal to okay so h3 which is the gross p then minus okay bracket the say i Three, okay, yeah. Then the plus, they say J three, which is the word the other the dotable. So I cannot close back with it on my enter key. We can see now the income tax and other deductible are so more and then subtracted from the word, the gross pay. So we can now drag from the K, cell K three down to the word say K fourteen to get each and em, each and every employee total net pay this is how to create the payroll under a to manage things independently had all these all the employee names working for you in this payroll one by one and set their total work hours overtime hours deduction and charges accordingly also add some formatting just from formatting to the cell and had the total at the end of what at the end of the sheet the final period should be should look like the one i'm having on my screen here there are more advanced tools available to have your payroll done however creating your own in a there give you security because you are monitoring your whole period there some more columns might be added like heads Health insurance premium like and uh, life cover premium etc so this is how the professional a professional payroll is the always look like so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as i keep giving you more of the exact portion bye and stay blessed